What is this? Some kind of sand monster? Well, hello guys, welcome back to the secret world. This is Zar. Um, <laughs> I uh, wasn't really sure what to do now. Uh, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, as you know, I've been covering the beta for this, and right now I'm filming from the early, uh, early access. Um, this is the first time where one of those, um, uh, one of the games that I've been covering in beta has actually released and I want to keep playing it, so I was thinking, like, should I do some, should I do guides or should I do, like, a let's play or, because uh, the thing is, like, I, I like to do the impressions, yeah? Uh, and now everyone has more or less access to that if they can pay for it. Um, so what I think I will do here is, you know, I, I have a lot of other games to film too, so I, I can't really play this as much as I would probably want to. Um, but what I'm going to do, I, I will be playing it for a bit, and as I do, I think I will be like making these Let's Play style episodes and talk a little bit about new discoveries, new things happening in the game, new things that I learn. And in this one particularly, since this is the early access, I've finally made a character that is, you know, gonna be my permanent character. And I thought we'd make this episode, uh, I'm not sure how often they will come, probably fairly regularly. Um, so in this episode I thought we would talk a little bit about Things that could be practical to know if it's your first time playing the game and and you want to and you're you're making your first character, so like a few tips and tricks there maybe. Um, so let's do that. So the first thing that uh, that I was really struggling with, I'm um, honestly I was uh, <laughs> for more or less the first half a day uh, when I got access to it on Friday here um, and the morning of Saturday I was just sitting around and pondering what what kind of skill combinations should I go for or weapon combinations which some of you know pretty much makes up your uh, your abilities or yeah your your class we could say and uh, I went for hammer and sword, or hammer and blade. So, okay, we're just gonna do this while I play a little bit. What's going on here? So this isn't really going to be a guide, but, you know. Alright. Can you see that I'm running fast, by the way? That's, uh, that's one thing I discovered is... Uh, Let's fight that thing first. speed I was about to start talking about yeah I um, uh, once you have about I think it was like 100,000 money <laughs> uh, can't remember what it's called uh, you can go to your capital city or like the base of your faction and uh, you can purchase like a permanent run speed enhancement uh, so the first one is for 100,000 uh, whoa, whoa. And the second one is, I think it was cost 500,000 and the next one like 1 million, something like that, I don't really remember. Um, what they do is the first one do like 60, a little bit over 60% enhanced run speed I believe, and then the next one is 75 and then the last one is 100 if I remember correctly, I think I do. Um, 
Let's see here. So when I have that, I'm running pretty fast now. And it will be even faster than this when I get the very expensive one. Um, can't really afford that yet though. Alright. Let's see what's down here. An instance. Are ah, those lasers? Mm hmm. Whoa! Oh no. Uh. Nothing happened? Yeah, I've done this before actually. Um. Surveillance logs. Disable security, that's what I want to do. Alright. And I think it's root. Nope. To go back in. Surveillance logs. Arrival. Just go through everything, actually. I don't want to read it. Alright, that should do it. Um, oh, yeah, one thing, by the way, that I. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad now for being angry about this in the beta, but uh, let's have a look here. In the uh, settings, you can. Uh, where was it? There we go. Interface options, advanced. Yeah. Yeah, you see. So <laughs> you can you can make it a bit bigger. Uh, it's one thing that annoyed me was that how small it is. The one thing that still annoys me though is um, there's no way for me to like enhance these guys down here without also enhancing the the quest uh, interface, and that that makes it just takes up like a, a fourth of the screen over here when I have several quests, and it's a bit annoying. So I, I keep it small anyway. Um, I can still I, I can make the inventory bigger. Like this. Um, <laughs> problem is, as you can see, actually one of the problems is you can't place things in those outermost boxes here in the bag for some reason when you make it bigger. I tried several different sizes. I can go to here, but not at the bottom one. Here I can move them around. Or no, I can't. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah. So that's um, so you sort of you, you sort of can, but it doesn't work. So, best to just default it. There we go. So, um, Synergy, guys. I, I mentioned it in a couple of videos already. Um, I don't really understand it well enough yet. I was actually thinking, should I make a guide on it? And I probably will later, uh, when I fully understand it. But I think it can be useful to know like what I know now, because it actually took me some reading to to really understand it fully. Um, you know, the game it um, it's advertised with that you can you know you can uh, you can play with all these different skill combinations and uh, you can have a very personal, very unique character, uh, and you can. But it's still possible to gimp it completely, um, not permanently though. And that's the thing, because with these skills, you, I mean, even if you take the wrong build to begin with, um, you can still, you, if you just keep playing, you, you get more of these AP that you can spend and you can just take some more, because, you know, eventually you can actually have all the abilities in the game on one character. Unless I completely misunderstood something, just putting that in there, just in case, but as far as I know, you can have all the abilities in the game on one character. Um. And uh, that's pretty much what uh, what made me uh, not completely lose my mind when I was to make this character. The fact that I knew if I mess it up I can always just play a bit more to fix it. And the reason why you would want to do that, the reason why you would want to fix it instead of um, instead of make a new character is because you also earn these SP that you spend 
getting these here points, you know, for for each weapon and so on. Um, you know, like at at one point these become expensive. That's a huge investment to take those uh, armor slot or talisman slot uh, SP. So, like, if I mess up with my build here with blade and hammer, and I think like, eh, f it, I'm going to start a new character. But no, because I still, it's much easier for me to keep leveling this character and get some more SPs, which comes pretty frequently. And I already have unlocked many levels of of these here uh, talisman slots, so I have still good gear. Uh, so it's much easier for me to just keep getting more unlocked skills here than uh, like when I unlock all this with sword and whatnot. Um, yeah, those are not something I'm going to be using then, but still some of the passives might work. Some of the some of the passive that helped me out on, uh, yeah, <laughs> like let's see, what does this one do? Uh, whenever I block an attack, for instance, it's nothing to do with sword specifically. It's just if I block it, I get a bonus. That can help me out even if I start decide to start going with assault rifles or whatever. So, I still have some high level ultimate skills and stuff to help me out with that. So I, um, as I said, I went for hammer and sword and uh, there's a long story behind that. Uh, which essentially is that I gave up. <laughs> I started reading about all the synergies and whatnot and then after a while, after like a day, I came to the conclusion that no, I'm, you know, I'm not smart enough, or I'm not knowledgeable, knowledgeable enough yet to actually create my own build from scratch without having actually tried it out or any point further into the game yet. So I went for one of these pre-built decks. Come on. With the knowledge that, as I just mentioned, if I mess it up or if I get tired of this, I'll just go do this first and then grab the skills I want later. Because initially I wanted to go either some sort of like dot combination. Uh, whoa, I thought I just picked this up. Um, either some sort of dot combination with, say, blood magic and uh, something. Or. I wanted actually to have um, shotgun and uh, and something, <laughs> shotgun and elementalism maybe, which is also a build. Let's have a look here. Oh, sorry, here we go. Uh, you have these pre-made builds here, and and uh, the what's it called, grifter. That's actually a shotgun elementalism combination. And you have all these, and you can see on the sides here it tells you which skills that the end goal is to have. So I've uh, gone for this one called Goon, which is a tank. I want to be a tank. So by following this to begin with, I know it will show me like some examples after a while here when I start understanding it, or it will teach me why it's built the way it is. And I am actually learning uh, quite a bit about it. I'm, I'm on my way to unlocking a few of the things. The ones I'm lacking are pretty expensive, so I haven't gotten those yet, but I understand the synergy a bit now. I'm not sure what this is. Hmm. A pretty cool hammer too though. Right now I'm not really using the hammer very much. There we go. Pick that oh <laughs> it's a little bug there. I have uh, two hammers. Yeah, I picked that up in uh, the Polaris instance, which I've finally completed. Uh, together with a uh, friendly player from our channel. Um, looking for a camera somewhere. Oh well. There we are. Oh, yeah. Battery of a camera. Oh. One of 
the search and destroy things again here. Right, actually, I'll see you in a bit. I'm just going to do this first, and we'll have a look at something. Oh no, it's the one here, is it? Is that the one that spawns the scary S F? No, it's not that quest. Oof, there's something very scary going on in here. But that wasn't it. <laughs> Thank God. Oh yeah. Considering to do voiceovers on these now when I have something important to say, because <laughs> it's really, really hard to do that while questing. But I have a silly setup right now, it does not work. That was my own experimentation. to say was um, regarding synergies we're going to we're going to tell you something that you might if you haven't played the game before and you haven't read anything about the synergies something that might be useful for you to know um, and I have to stand still to do it here we go right the thing is you see I have to have a little paper in front of me now that you can't see so you'll have to watch what's whatever's going on on the screen there in the background um, we can divide these weapons into uh, a few effects that are, that they apply, or uh, let's see these, um, yeah, these here down here, They're like hindered and impaired and weakened and afflicted. Now, as far as I can figure out, um, what you should consider when setting up a build to begin with is that you want you're, like you, you have two weapons and you want them to have at least one of the same effect so that you can use say that like you have a pistol and a, a shotgun both of those two has skills that can apply hindered and both of those two also have a skill that can apply weakened in the same way they both of them have skills that make use of that like gives, gives you a bonus if your target is hindered or weakened so that way that's the synergy thing you know and um, the one thing you should consider to begin with is do your two choices have any kind of synergy for instance blades and shotgun does not have any synergies shotgun has can has skills that applies hindered and weakened they only have two each uh, while as blades have uh, skills that have applies afflicted and impaired so I was just setting up this little Excel document for myself to see which they all do, and uh, yeah, should I read it up all of it? Nah, there are many, uh, there are many links to, or you can Google it. It's pretty easy, but if you have a good memory, I can always read it up to you quickly. Um, assault rifles and elemental magic. Those have exactly the same two, which is hindered and afflicted. Then you have pistols and shotgun, as I mentioned, uh, are hindered and weakened. Uh, blades and fists have the same ones, uh, which is uh, afflicted and impaired. Hammer and chaos have the same ones, afflicted and... no, impaired and weakened. And then you have, uh, what is it, blood magic and uh, blades are the same ones. But you don't have to have uh, you don't have to have all of them do the same. I could for instance go with hammer and fists because they share the impaired function but um, other than that they don't. You can still make use of, of that uh, synergy between those two skills. That's the only thing you should think about when 
uh, when making your first build because you're going to be working on that build for a while and since I'm you know since I don't have that good of an overview yet I thought well let's just go with these decks here because they are already pre-figured out they have these for things set up and as you can see it shows you here and as you go along it has like a little green dot here on the ones that they want me to use eventually on the on the inner circle there's only two you can see that is part of the final build but on the on your way there you can still experiment and set it up the way you want so that's something you you should really consider when you make your first one um, it's probably best to just take one of these to begin with you can always change it later and you don't have to make a new character you're always just better off starting with like I would be if I wanted to go pistols and assault rifles right now I would be better off just starting to fill these in use those skills instead then to make a new character so I've been uh, building a bit on my own here you can see I have these I've set up a few I've been picking and matching a little bit um, my blade torrent you know it's just a what it does it's just a resource builder AOE um, but it also does what's called a frenzy which is another type of, uh, of effect it's like a, a result of some skills <laughs> and then there are uh, uh, many skills that can make use of, uh, of those as well so for instance this one it says it does a frenzy and then I've picked um, it's a frenzy type attack there we go put on advanced description frenzy type attack um, now the cool thing about that is I have um, uh, yeah and it uh, it makes them afflicted is it, well, why does it go away okay I don't know why it doesn't show anymore anyways it's a frenzy attack and then I have this passive over here that does one thing that makes my all my blade torrent uh, attacks put an affliction state on uh, on my target and then I have this other passive here uh, well not that one but well I have some other passive somewhere that makes it so that whenever I do something uh, whenever people are afflicted and I hit them I gain health but then I also have this um, this one over here that says that whenever I do a frenzy attack or frenzy ability I heal for 11 and that one does not come from the same tree even as um, as the blade torrent does originally that's something from much further in here somewhere yeah it's all the way here perseverance part of the final build um, those are the kind of things you can uh, look into later on um, but uh, just as a heads up you should go for one of those pre-built ones to begin with uh, we're gonna do a cool quest now um, what else should we talk about it's um they have changed a few things already they've uh, they've already had a like a patch in the middle of the uh, of the early access here where they uh, fixed a few bugs and so on and uh, adjusted uh, some PvP PvP was giving you too much points as opposed to PvE so they adjusted that a little bit so now it should be more even uh, I, I can it's n like this is it's the small things but it's noticeable um, the game is much better now than it was oh this is not the quest I thought it was but that must be oh it's that guy Right, yeah, so they're not purely informative, these uh, these videos, guys. This is gonna be... It's like half Let's Play. See, killing that guy. Didn't the wisp go over here? There it is. Oh. Clear those scarecrows? 
Oh. Those guys? No. Don't understand. Clear the field of sackcloth scarecrows. Oh, there's one. up my <laughs> my clicking because I never have resources to use it what now kill the revenants well don't see any oh there's one how do I get participation in something like this I'm not sure exactly how that works yet. nope did not yeah I did good critical. I mean, those things were not wrong, the things that were critical to add at the time, but I would say the game grows on you. Uh, it takes a while to to fully get the whole the whole skill thing. I still don't claim to, to have gotten it. Um, and there's the th same things I've been criticizing still needs work, but it's getting better and the atmosphere and the quest mechanics are so fantastic that uh, it's just it's just really worth it. For a while, anyway. <laughs> I don't know yet. Yeah, because the one thing I'm uh, I'm not sure, like, because I, I imagine that when you get to endgame and you can take all the abilities, then what do you do? Like, like. When you have got like the build you really want. Oh my god, this is confusing. When you have got the build that you really want, um, then what do you do? Because. Well, actually, you know. Um, As opposed to most games, where when you are maximum level all you can do is get gear, here you can always get more skills <laughs> for a considerable amount of time. More claws? No, shotgun. Ooh, that looks cool. I kinda wanna equip that. I'm gonna keep it. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> I still have a lot of making up my mind to do. One thing I wanted to mention though is, um, oh, what is this? Picked up the arcane tome. When you, uh, when you start out, this time I, I did all the Kingsmouth quests. Or Kingsmith, or however they pronounce it. Killed the Vessels Defending Home. I did absolutely all of the quests in Kingsmouth. And. By the time I exited Kingsmith, I went here to whatever it's called here. Savage Coast. Maybe. Savage. This zone. I had 175 ability points spent. So, and that's like somewhere alongside. 
or, or around five and a half, six million XP for that. Uh, one of our uh, friends from the channel did the same, or he did not actually do the same, he, he went more straight here. Um, he had, at that time, he had been here for quite a long time, had much better gear than I did because of it, because it's much higher gear quality than drops here. And, and he had like a fourth, or at least uh, a third of the XP that I had gained at the same time. But yeah, he was much better geared than I was. So, you know, that begs to question, is it really worth it to do all those quests in the, in the first zone? Yeah, you get AP, but isn't it faster to just go here and... Uh, and get some better gear instead, because gear is really what you need. The AP, it will come, it will come soon enough. Uh, the skills are not that much better than each other. The gear is what really makes the difference on whether you survive or not. But I can notice, I didn't do that the last time uh, I was here in the in the beta. Um, with my uh, Chaos Magic tanky guy. Uh, I, uh, I went f here faster. And I'm noticing it's considerably easier now that I came here like fully, fully skilled up, so to say. So it's an interesting thought, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't stick around in Kingsmith for too long. Uh, it's not necessary to do everything there. You're just going to be hmm, go here, get some cold tree gear, and then go back there and do the, uh, do the dungeons and so on. That's my tip anyway. That's what I would do if I were to start again. Let's grab this arcane tome here. And return to the Academy Library. I think that's uh, what we have time for for this episode, guys. I um, hope there was a few tips you could use. Uh, this is some more of a... You know, this is not a uh, beta impressions, nor is it a, really a let's play series. It's somewhere in between. Um, not sure how often these will come, or if that's even what I'm going to be doing, because, uh, yeah, it's a new territory for me again now. I can't really get too invested in filming, like, a, a Let's Play series would be like, that would require me to really be set on playing this game for a considerable amount of time, and um, right now I am, but I know that can change in a heartbeat, so uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing something like this. Ooh for as long as I'm interested in it. And uh, alongside my other videos, I have uh, like two or three betas right now I have been completely neglecting because I wanted to play. I've been playing so much <laughs> in, in here, in the secret world. Oh my god, what is this lag? Lag, 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 lag. Hope it's better in here. It's really not. Well, that's just... That's, uh, that's my internet connection telling me to end the episode. And thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you around for the next episode, and hopefully for some of my other games as well. Oh, skip that. Yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of new new MMOs coming out, and some MOBAs I want to try out. So I'll see you the day after this episode comes out for for some of those. All right, guys, take care. And uh, oh yeah, by the way. Uh, I'm on the uh, Arcadia server, the role-playing server. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a role player, uh, but some people from the channel is playing here already, and um, I wanted to try it out. I haven't been playing actually on the role-playing server, or since uh, Star Wars Galaxies way back, and that wasn't really per se a role-playing server I played on, but there was a lot of role players there, and I sort of, eh. That was it, it. It really didn't rub me the wrong, the the right way. Those role players, they were such you know what they now refer to as the role playing police. They were all like that. But that has changed a lot. I've heard over the last what is it like 10, 12 years since that game was uh, was being played by anyone. Um, so I figured I'd give it a shot, and I assumed that they would be nice people, and so far they have been. So I'm here and. Lastly, actually, you know, oh, this is something. Uh, this is something very important. I really should cover this as well. I'm going to tell you one more thing, guys. So, servers 
and you really should know this, that is important. There was a blog post recently from the developers and uh, I didn't know about it till then and it's a really it's an important selling point. Uh, the Secret World servers are all actually one server with several dimensions. Uh, which means I said I was playing on the Arcadia server which really sort of means I'm on, in the Arcadia dimension. How it works is if I know someone on another dimension um, there's no reason we can't play together. All they have to do is they just invite me to their group and uh, and I can teleport there. Or not teleport so much as just transfer to that server temporarily. So all this is is really my home server. This is where I log in and log out. Uh, but uh, uh, I can have my guild on, it can be divided in multiple servers. It's no problem. PvP, no problem. Uh, so this is best, you know, basically just your home dimension. Everyone can play together, which is actually pretty fantastic. Because as they said in the blog, how many times have you met someone that plays the same online game as you do? And you know, what server are you? What server do you play on? And uh, play on server number two hundred and eighteen. Uh, and I'm on, uh, I'm on server number two. Oh well, maybe better like next time. So that's not going to happen here. You can always. It doesn't even matter if uh, like I'm in Europe, I have a lot of friends in the States, and so on. Doesn't matter. You can play on each other's servers. This server is on US time, I think, or something, but I'm in Europe. And uh, there's no worries, always people on here. So that's the last thing that you guys should know. Uh, play wherever you want to. You can still group with your friends, you just need to get in white and transport there. Alright. Then we say goodbye.